we have talked about the Russian military as of late, little has been spoken about the long-range air defense system, the S-400. This system, seen here during a live fire exercise, has been touted as perhaps the best surface-to-air missile system in the world. Even computer games like DCS make it seem like it is almost unbeatable by anything short of stealth aircraft or missiles. And then today happened. And yet another day of bad news for the Russian military, which should have been highlighted by the shooting down of the most advanced fighter in the skies over Ukraine, that being an Su-35, this jet. A photo has emerged of one of the radars associated with the S-400 system being destroyed near Kurosan. Details are emerging, but it is being reported that a HIMARS strike was the cause of the destruction. The S-400 should have been able to handle this threat quite easily. For starters, the S-400 are so expensive and powerful that it's almost unimaginable that the Russians provided no close-in air defense systems near the radars. Something like this, the Russian Panzer system, more than likely would have been nearby for threats not worth the firing of one of the more expensive missiles of the S-400. The radar should have also been linked to other systems in the area for an IATS, or Integrated Air Defense System. The Russians have been using data-linked air defense assets to allow multiple radars and sites to track targets, thereby allowing them to see threats and counter them quickly. Could the S-400 simply not be as good as the hype? Have the Russians left their most advanced air defense system unprotected? Or does the HIMARS pose the biggest threat to the system?